What's up, y'all? It's Jonathan Rollins. I'm back with another reaction to a Swedish classic. The song we're doing today is 800 Grader by Ebba Grön. 800 Grader means 800 degrees. That's hot. When I think of a, a high degree like that, I think of Juvenile, the rap artist. And he had a classic album, in my opinion, called 400 Degrees from when I was in high school. And that shit was a banger. Bitch, what? I'll bust your ass up. This is anything close to that. Boom. We're good, man. <laughs> we got us a banger. This is the second Evergrande song I've done. I did Stalt in a Capitalet. I feel like that went a little over my head. I'm not that into punk music in general. So that's, um, I think that's the biggest difference right there. I also feel like they had kind of political lyrics uh, of that time and it was probably over my head, basically. A little bit about the song now. It was released in 1981 on the album Charlek Och Uprör which is a really cool title, man. Love and Rebellion. <laughs> I like that. As I said, I did Stop to the Capitola. Um, I hope I like this song more than I did that one. Uh, this has been up there with most requested songs for me to do. So I'm really looking forward to it. When I did research, I found out this song was about chemical warfare or the Cold War, uh, which kind of makes sense when you think of uh, Ota Grader. I guess they're saying that when the bomb drops, that shit's gonna be hot which makes sense. I didn't find the song charting anywhere, but the album made it to number five on the Swedish charts. So that means it was a success, I'd say. This was their second album, and it was credited with popularizing the punk movement here in Sweden. In total, Ebba Grön ended up making three studio albums. So uh, without further ado, I think we should just get right into it, man. Let's see what this Otto Hundergrader is all about, this punk song that I'm gonna do. Let's go. Guess I got the video. <laughs> I like that long strum of the guitar, like, take that and let it ride. I like that. I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna be digging this. say I like this one more than the last one as far as I remember the last one I like the uh, the groove to this one man it's going this is really going and uh, and I understand it more than I understood the last one uh, it's more in your face so that's good for dumb people like me let's go <laughs>
punk music fan but that one is uh that was a really good song man it was i uh, it, it, it had the i know i say this a lot because you guys do this a lot but it had the build up at the end when it just went all the way <laughs> i wanted to like throw i don't know what to throw up though i don't know uh i don't know what fingers to throw up you know what i mean i know you guys have uh the punk rockers probably have something they do i don't know what they do uh, but I would do that. I felt like jumping around and maybe punching somebody in the face. And I like that. I like that feeling. So, so, uh, Eber Grun with Otto de Grotter, that's a banger, man. That's a banger. I like it. I like it a lot, man. That's something I'm going to listen to again. The, the, the chorus was really catchy, too. And, uh, I can see how this became, uh, this forged, uh, um, a punk movement in Sweden. Nice. And they're from around here, around my way. So shout out to that. They're from Bondhagen, and I live not far from there. That's it for this uh, reaction. Uh, Otto Grotter. that's going to be one that, uh, that uh, I listen to again, man, definitely. Thanks for watching this video. The next song we're going to do is by a group called Nick and the Family, and the song's Hey Monica. So hopefully that is a, a song that you like. If you do, don't miss it. I'll be doing it soon. So thanks so much for checking us out and all of the other videos. If you haven't seen them, go back and watch them, man. I really appreciate it. And spread the word. Tell your Swedish friends that there's this American comedian listening to Swedish classics and uh, making fun videos about them. So I appreciate all your support. And uh, I will see you next classic. Peace.